This is the SecureSphere Management Console. From this console, the user has an enterprise view of all data centers from a single location. It allows the security administrator to define policies, audit, conduct forensic investigation, review alert, and perform other configuration across the organization. First, we'll go into the Security Policies tab. From here, you can see our flexible security policy framework. This allows an organization to block or respond to access to sensitive files from a malware-infected device. An organization can decide, for example, that it's okay to read a file from a compromised device, but you might want to block file modifications or any changes to data from a potentially infected device. Another option might be to only audit on low severity threats or block access from any high severity threats. This next screen shows the record we maintain from FireEye of all infected devices, which includes a lot of important information, such as device IP, the security indicator, for example, whether it's a high threat alert or a low threat alert. And this data allows us to filter out and isolate a compromised device from a network and determines what action should then be taken. In addition, we collect information on the nature of the malware because some is known to be more risky than others, and you might want to perform different actions based on this data. Lastly, another piece of information that we'll capture is whether or not the malware is trying to call home. This is something a lot of organizations want to pay close attention to due to high risk of exfiltration. Music